Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment. Drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. You cannot. We must do everything we can to make sure we carry everybody along. And that is why we have been saying all that we've seen for a very long time. That is why we have been shouting on the blue. Let me tell you, will your brother make mistake? He will. Of course he will. Will your sister make mistake? Of course he will. Will your sister or brother make mistake? Will your family make mistake? Of course they will make mistake. But everybody is prone to make mistake. But when he, he or she make mistake, do not discard him or her. When him or he or she make a mistake, do not discard him or her. If you do, you have now created, created an avenue for the enemy to use against you. Each time you discard your brother for one mistake or the other, you push that your or a brother totally out. You condemn him, you blackmail him, you do all such a thing. You are preparing a fertile ground for the enemy. That's what they're doing. You are preparing a fertile ground for them. And after preparing that fertile ground for them, now you come to blame your family as being your enemy. You prepare the ground for the enemy. You give the enemy the instrument. And you have made your own brother an instrument in the hand of the enemy. But your brother is not the enemy. Always remember, there is always an eye watching you outside. Onyilo, the enemy is always there watching closely to see your weak point. The, the Onyilo, the enemy is watching 24 7. They don't blink. They don't blink an eye. They are watching 24 7 for you to make that mistake. As soon as you make that mistake, they will grab that opportunity and they will use it against you. And before you know it, you begin to fight a battle. That cannot end because you cannot fight your own. You cannot destroy yourself. A kingdom that rises against itself will not stand. Every one of us say it every time. We always say it that any kingdom that rises against itself will not stand. But yet, some of us still get into fighting against their own kingdom. If you believe truly that a kingdom that rises against itself will not stand there is no point there is no time you will open your eyes in broad daylight and you begin to see your own brother as enemy because your own brother both of you are in the same kingdom all you have to do is to shut that door that you have opened for the only yellow to enter any time you see your brother who you your mind is telling that this person wants your downfall he's your enemy Try to look through, look carefully, and found that door that you have opened. There is a door that you need to sh shut. As soon as you close that door, through which the only hero has entered to penetrate that your brother, once you shut that door, you will see that your brother will be the best defense you can have in life. They will now become the best defense you can have in life. That is how it is. Your family is not your enemy and cannot be your enemy. Your family is not your enemy and cannot be your enemy. We must always pay attention at all times. Pay attention. Where we have a strong homework is on that, trying to find out that missing link, find out that gap that we have created, find out that weak point that we have created that place we have led the gap close it close that gap close it because the enemy will not come in except there is a door it can't come through the window it will not it is when you open the door for the enemy it will come in and when it comes in it will see a prey fingers are not equal i say the strength of everyone is not equal and we are blessed differently some people can stand pressure, some cannot stand pressure. 
Some people can start hardship. Some people cannot stand hardship. Some people can stand blackmail. Some people cannot stand blackmail. Strength are different. And when you go into a family, when the enemy comes into a family, they will look for those weak ones. They will look for the weak ones to use. That is why you must pay attention closely and carry everybody along including your weak ones those weak ones pay more attention to them and listen to their own voice it doesn't matter how unreasonable their point is pay attention and listen when they're making their suggestion pay attention and listen to what they have to say it doesn't matter i say it again your family is not your enemy let us continue to focus on the real enemy focus on the real enemy when you begin to focus much on your own family instead of the enemy you will fight a lost battle that is why i appreciate our spirit of Nandekano. if you are a hardcore follower of Mazen Nandekano. You can understand the way Mazen Nandekani treats the issue of people who are Biafrans and are attacking Mazen Nandekano. If you are a Biafran and you are attacking Mazen Nandekano, you are a Biafran and you are fighting against Mazen Nandekano, Mazen Nandekano doesn't pay, pay attention to you. Mazen Nandekano will not give you attention. He won't even speak about it. Whenever he wants to speak, it is once or twice and that is it. He won't talk about it again. He move on. That is how you treat such issues. The same method is what our, our spokesperson, Master Samuel, is applying. He doesn't focus much, focus much on the family as enemies. His most focus, his most attack, his most strength is channeled on the real enemy. His strength is channeled on the real enemy outside. Go and watch all his brokers. Follow him closely. You see that his enemy, he's channeling his energy on the that is why there was a broker's Mazen Nan the kind of man. I was I was pulling Mazen Nan kind of man. He said, he said that he is going to pursue the head. When he cut off the head, that the body will become useless. That was a broker's Mazen Nan the kind of man that way. When he was talking of, of attacking the zoological republic from the top. He said he's going to attack. That he's going to attack. That is why then people were telling him, "Why not go to local government? Go to village? Go to state? Talk to this talk?" He told them the target is the head, and he told us to focus on the head. That was when they brought the 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 imposter in Asrock. When they brought him, they can focus on the head. Focus on the head to take that head out, because as soon as you destroy that head completely, the body will become useless. Likewise, when you are dealing with your enemy, stop looking at your own brother, your own family as your enemy. They are not. They are not. The real enemy is somewhere using the loophole that you yourself have created to fight him. Put that at the back of your mind. The enemy is out there. Only you know, if you are from, if you are an Igbo Biafran, you understand this better. If you are an Igbo Biafran, just go and check the translation of Onyilo. Some pronounces Onyilo, Onyilo, or Onyilo. It is somebody who is outside. That is what it means. The enemy, enemy. It's somebody. Is, it is not a member of your family. But for that very outsider to be able to operate and perform, you must have left a loophole somewhere around you. They are watching twenty four seven to see that loophole, and as soon as they see it. They are going to use it. They are going to use it. It's just like those who do charms and whatever against people. They do some who do some spiritual incantation with them. Some of them, you see, sometimes they seek for something that belongs to you, either your clothes, your shirt, anything that has connected to you. They use it to be able to get you. They can't just come from the team air. I mean, they will lose something. There was some. They would need something that connects to you to get you. That is how the enemy operates. What are you going to do? What you're going to do is to make sure you keep every of member of your family in check by carrying them along. 
doing that which you are supposed to do. Doing that. Let me tell you, sometimes we make some parable in the language, but at the same time, even making that parable, we don't believe in it. We make those parables. Yes, we don't believe it. There's another parable they made in the language. They say, Izuka mana nej. I believe most of you have heard that. That Izuka mana nej. That very proverb can also be narrowed down in what we are talking about in family. It can also be narrowed down in family. Izuka mana nej. And those is who see manala. Secret is better with family. Secret is better with family. And when the cop, when the cops is smelling, that is when you know who is your brother and who is not. When the cops is smelling, that is when you know who the brother is. That is when who you know who your family is. Is only your family that will still stand without covering their nose while the cops is smelling, while your own cops is smelling. We must not, we must not see our brothers as the enemy, no matter what. The only thing we would do is that when you see your weak brothers who are exposed to be used, find out that loophole and block it. Find out that weakness, that door that you yourself have contributed in opening. Find a way to close that door, shut that door. As soon as you shut that door, the enemy will not see you. But I still insist, your family is not the enemy. And I would like every one of us to go back and digest on your own. Think about this very well. I am saying this message today because of the stage we are in. We are in a stage, in a stage where everything has to be placed on the line. We have to be very, very careful. And the enemy, the outsider, the only law, we use every single loophole that we have left. Every single loophole that we have left, they are going to use it. Hmm. When it comes to Biafra's struggle, the only law is not sleeping. When it comes to Biafra's struggle, the only law is not blinking an eye. When it comes to Biafra, struggle the only you know we never we stop at nothing they will stop at nothing they are watching you 24 7 and every loophole you leave they are going to use it definitely they will use it that is why you must make sure make sure make sure you pay attention to those loopholes not your brother i still repeat your family is not your enemy the enemy is an outsider. The enemy is an outsider. This is the time for us to begin to close those loopholes. Every door that we have opened for the enemy to come in, into our family, we have to begin to shut them up, shut them down now. Every door that we have opened, either knowingly or knowingly, any door that we have opened, either by mistake or anyhow, begin to think, look backwards and see where those doors are and begin to think of how to shut them down. If we succeed in shutting those doors down, I bet you the journey will be much more easier than it is. We are entering into a very difficult stage. You know what I do here? I don't come here to tell you what that will make you happy. I don't come here to come and make you feel good or promote anything. No, I come here to tell you, give you a little picture of what you are about to see in time to come so that you can prepare your mind for what is coming. If anybody comes to tell you that it's going to be easy in the days coming, it's not going to be easy. The days come, more especially for those our brothers and sisters who are in Biafra land. Those are brothers and sisters in Biafra land. I, 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 I acknowledge their pain. I know what they're going through. I can feel it, even though I'm not there. Even saying 
thing that I can feel it is an understatement because there's never a time you can feel things better than somebody who is on the ground there. But what I can only say is that I can have a taste of what they feel, not that I, not that I know exactly their feelings. You can never know the feeling of anybody except you are in that position yourself. Except you, only you and you alone knows what you are feeling. Even in that same Biafra land, there are still some people who have different kinds of feelings on the outside. But I tell you, the day is coming. It's not going to be easy. But Chukwokukabiyama is very much ready to lead us home. Chukwokukabiyama is ready to lead us home. The remaining thing that is left is for you and I. How prepared are you? How prepared are you? That is why I am preaching this message today about Onyilu, that your family is not your enemy. Let us stop seeing our family as the enemy. The real enemy is out there. Using our weak points, most of those weak points we created by ourselves. Most of those doors we opened it by ourselves today as we are marching into our freedom let us begin to look inward and begin to shut those doors one after the other begin to close those doors lock them up by the time we lock those doors up i tell you the only will not have a place to anchor they will not have a place to use they will be you will not see them. They, you, you can't find them. And it is because of this very action of Onyilo. It is because of this act of enemy. That is why it is very important that Biafra becomes independent. And it is because of this. That is why you see, I was putting Namazin Nanaka while he was preaching. He told you that you cannot form a nation with the people who have who do not have the same value system with you. That is why nations are not found, are not found with people with different value system. Nations are formed with people who have the same value system. That is why it is so. Because when you form a nation with people that have the same value system with you, the Ojiilo cannot penetrate easily. They will be watching. They will be watching looking for a loophole is not going to be easy for them that is why you see countries are built with people that have the same value system that is why you see people countries in the past that have mixed value system we are broken into pieces and they went away it is because of this that is why you see india got divided and pakistan became on their own it didn't stop there bangladesh left because these are different families. The Pakistan people are different families. The Indians are different families. All that people that broke away from the different families. And the more they become to remain together, the more the only we have access to them. That was why it was ended. Every one of them went on their separate ways. And today, they are living happily. It happened to Russia also. Because people have different value system on Russia. You heard about the USSR. When they were USSR, everyone of us know. When they were USSR. But today, every single one of them is on their own, flourishing. Because they do not have the same value system. And as soon as you break away and you now become existing with people with the same value system, the same family existing as a nation, they will prosper. There is nothing that will, nothing can stop them from being prosperous. Nothing. They will definitely, they will, even if there are still remaining issues that the, the enemy have planted in them, just with a short a, a very short time, they will manage it and they, they move on. As long as they have the same value system. This is why when we come out and we say that there's Theological republic cannot work. It cannot stand. That we should stop deceiving ourselves about people who are talking about one Nigeria or all that. It cannot stand. It cannot stand. It's not helping anybody. It's not. It is not. It's not. It's not as if we are saying it out of hatred. We are not saying that 
out of hatred or maybe out of malice or out of, we are saying it to favor every human being living in that very country called Nigeria. The person from the northern part of Nigeria, from Arewa, we do much, much better if he is in Arewa nation, which whereby they choose the kind of system they want to run. If they want to run an Islamic system, have an Islamic nation, they will do, be doing it happily without anybody having grudges on them. They will be doing it boldly, openly, without any, any grudges from anybody. And they will flourish. I bet you, if they will be on their own, they will, be, they will flourish. They will develop by force. The same way with the Druid people. If the Druid people will be on their own, with people of the same value system, thinking alike, doing things the same way they know themselves very well they are going to do exploit they will be secured and very happy among themselves this same thing will be applicable to biafra people if biafrans are on their own if biafrans are on their own they will do exploit in a, a very short time and these three nations you are seeing if they happen to be on their own they will be they will be doing exploit because they will be having a healthy competition. The same kind of competition you have in Asia today, where you see Japan competing with, the, where you see China competing with Japan, see Singapore exploring, Taiwan exploring, countries in Asia, South Korea exploring, including North Korea themselves. People begin to find an area which they are very good at and they focus on that. A healthy competition when you see that your neighbor is doing well you'll be forced to do well not when you cage people with different value system and in, in that cage each one will be busy planning to destroy the other 